My name is Andy Yowry, and this is my son, Cole. Hi. I'm a battery engineer at General Motors, and Cole is a fifth grader going on sixth grader. I work on batteries at General Motors, and I'm really excited to do that. Um, I work on batteries that power electric cars. And that's exciting because we're moving towards an all electric future where we have cars that have zero emissions. That means that the cars make no pollution as they're driving down the road. So we're here in my kitchen today because we're working and learning at home. So today we want to uh, talk a little bit about batteries and do some learning about batteries. So uh, we're gonna learn about them and then later on in the video, we're going to build a battery. Well, what are batteries? Well, I think you and all the people watching know a lot more about batteries than they think. You're surrounded by batteries. They're all, all throughout your house and they're powering your smart devices. You can use them to power things like flashlights, toys, remote controls, stuff like that. How do batteries work? Well, batteries store chemical energy and what's going on inside of the battery, it's kind of like a tug of war between two pieces of metal dipped in a liquid and they're fighting, they're tugging over positively charged particles that are in the liquid. So when you dip metal into liquid, it dissolves just a little bit into the liquid. Hey Cole, what are some things you can think of around the kitchen that dissolve? Um, we have... Uh, sugar. Sugar, yeah. sugar, salt. So you got There's it. salt in the water, the ocean, yep. the sea. So sugar and salt are two common things that dissolve in your kitchen. Well, it turns out metal also dissolves in when you dip it in a liquid. Just, you, you can't always see it. So even though you can't see it, it's still happening. Some metals like to hold on to their molecules more than others. And this is where the tug of war comes in. If you dip two pieces of the same metal into liquid, nothing happens because they each are tugging on those positively charged particles the same. It's like having two equally matched players in a game of tug of war. If you dip two different metals into the liquid, something interesting happens. One metal pulls harder on those molecules than the other metal. And that means you get a voltage and in that tug of war, the rope starts to move in one direction. When this happens, you've got voltage and now you can do something with it. So when you've got voltage in a battery, you can hook it up to something to do work, like move a car or turn on a light or power a smartphone. So let's make a battery. Uh, this is the part where we're gonna make a battery out of common household items. Uh, we are going to make a battery called a zinc nickel battery. Uh, how many different kinds of metal do we need? Two. Two. Two different kinds of metal. So one of the metals is? Nickel. And the other metal is? Zinc. All right, so where are we going to get nickel, Cole? Actually, this is kind of funny. In the coin, nickel. That's right. There you go. So nickel. nickel coins actually have a lot of nickel in them. Now, zinc is a little less obvious. Um, we're going to do two different kinds here. Uh, one place you can get zinc actually is again from coins. So if you go to your piggy bank or uh, ask your parents, turns out pennies, even though they've got a nice shiny copper coating, on the inside they are mostly zinc. So we are gonna use pennies. And okay? also, and we have an easier way to do it um, because with the pennies we're gonna have to use a little sandpaper to get them ready. Um, but also you could use zinc washers. Yes, zinc coated washers. So if you happen to have um, in your on your workbench at home uh, or go to the home improvement store you can get some zinc coated washers they're super common super easy so you only need one of them you need the pennies or the zinc coated washers we're going to build both of them uh, Cole's going to do one I'm going to do the other but you only need to pick one of them I recommend the washers if you can find them okay we also need um, oh, a liquid so for the liquid we're going to use Vinegar. vinegar. Vinegar is a lot better at dissolving solids like metal, sugar, salt, yep. than say water. That's right. Vinegar is better than water. You could maybe use water, but we're going to use vinegar. Um, the uh, This is the same kind of vinegar you have in your kitchen that you would put in your salad dressing or things like that. 
Okay, then what we need is some construction paper. The construction paper is going to hold the vinegar because we're gonna soak it, and it's also gonna keep our metal pieces from touching. Then you need some tin foil. We're gonna use this to make wires and some tape. tape. We need tape. Also, if you are using the pennies, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need sand some paper. paper and obviously scissors. Scissors. So talk to your parents, have them help you with the scissors. Remember, always safety first. If you have safety goggles. Yep, we'll put these on those. at the right time. If you have gloves, get some of those. Okay. Great, and the tape can be any kind of tape uh, that you have around the house. Uh, I work on batteries, so of course I've got electrical tape around the house. So, but like you can use masking duct tape, tape, duct tape, whatever. Tape. So now that we've got our materials and our tools, let's start putting together our homemade batteries. Um, safety first, we're gonna start off safety glasses. Put them on. Okay, then the first step we need to do if we're using the pennies is we need to sand off the coating on the outside of the pennies. So get some sandpaper. I've got a uh, 220 grit sandpaper here, but you can use uh, anything that's kind of in that ballpark. And we're gonna just take our penny, we're gonna put it, um, I like to use the tail side and put that down. I think the heads side is harder to sand. So we're gonna put the tail side down onto the sandpaper and we're just gonna slide it back and forth. And we're gonna keep doing this until you can lift it up off the sandpaper and what you wanna see is you wanna see that it's starting to look, instead of that um, brown copper color, what you wanna see is a silver color underneath. The next step is to get our construction paper and we're gonna cut out what we call separators. That's gonna be the thing that holds the vinegar. It's also gonna be the thing that keeps our metal apart. So Cole, what we're gonna, I want you to do, is I want you to take your paper and I want you to fold it. We're gonna kinda of make it like a fan. You're gonna fold it back and forth on each other multiple times this way we only have to cut something out once, but we'll get multiple copies of that thing that we're cutting out. So fold it back and forth, about one, one and a half inches big. Uh, fold it seven or eight times, so you get um, about eight, we want eight copies of these separators. Cole, get a nickel and place it on top of your paper. And I want you to, I'm gonna give you this pencil and we're gonna draw two, we're gonna draw a circle two times. We're gonna just cut out a bunch of these things, okay? Okay. So if you're using nickels, trace the nickel. If you're using washers, trace the washer. You got it. So, very carefully with your scissors, cut through all of the layers on the line that you just traced. Maybe go just a little bit bigger than the line you just traced. And you're gonna cut out a bunch of paper discs. So now that we've cut out our paper discs, we are going to pour some vinegar into a bowl. Pour about a half an inch in there. A little more. Great. We're gonna take all of the paper discs that we made and we're gonna soak them in vinegar. So Cole, take your tin foil. Okay. I just want you to take an edge of it. I want you to fold it really thin. About a quarter of an inch maybe. In a nice straight line. And then you're just gonna fold it again. And again. And again. So we're using tin foil to make wires so we can hook our batteries up to something. Take the tin foil and fold it over on itself about uh, four or five times. Then we're gonna use scissors to cut it off and we're gonna do this two times. We're gonna make two sets of wires, that's plenty. So are you ready to put your battery together? Yes, I am. Okay, Cole is gonna use his wires from his science kit and I'm gonna use the um, wires that we just made out of tin foil. So you're gonna take a small piece of tape and you're gonna stick the wire to it. In this case, Cole's using his his game, his uh, toy kit wires. I'm just going to use the tin foil. Then we're going to take one of our coins and stick it on there as well. And that's how we're going to start out our battery. Now that we've got the top and the bottom of our battery ready, we're going to start stacking. So here's what you got to do, Cole. You want to take one of those pieces of construction paper that have been soaking in vinegar, and you're going to place it on top of your bottom. Great, so you started with a washer, now you wanna take a nickel. Then you're gonna put a washer right on top of that nickel, metal to metal. And then another piece of, yep, yeah, orange, uh, construction paper. So just keep repeating that pattern. Try to get at least like five layers of it going. The more you get, the more voltage you'll get. 
But uh, like I said, it'll get a little wiggly as you keep going, so don't worry too much about stacking it to the ceiling. If you're using pennies, put the silver colored side of the penny towards the paper. So we'll go paper. Good. I think we need one or two more. Pennies, letters. nickel, paper. Paper, penny, nickel, paper. Now that we've got everything stacked, we are going to tape it all together. This is where that electrical tape is going to come in handy. Really so, Paul, easy. you're going to hold it, and I'm going to wrap it. Don't give up if this doesn't work the first time. Uh, sometimes your stack might fall apart as you're trying to tape it, and you can just try again. Okay. Okay, there we go. Just wrap we're doing around it. the bottom. I think we're doing it. I think we are too. I think we're almost there. Get it nice and tight. Once you've got it stacked and holding itself together, we can take more tape and we can stack it together tighter. So try not to let your wires touch. Um, nothing bad will happen, but it'll discharge your battery. Try not to let your wires touch. Batteries are a lot more exciting when they actually do something. And electricity is invisible, and so it's, it's not always easy to uh, see the cool thing that you just did. So we're using a digital multimeter. Cole, let's check that one more time. Okay, and right to right, right see, to right. Let's right see right. if we got positive and negative right. So positive. We did, we did. We, we did. did? Yeah. Okay, so you're at 2.7 volts. Let's see what I was able to do. Yeah. I am at... 3.5, woo, all right. It's called an LED, or uh, also known as a light emitting diode. This is the technology that makes your smartphone screen light up and things like that. And what's cool about this is, uh, we're gonna see if we can actually turn this on. Now a diode only lets electricity flow in one direction, so you gotta put positive here and negative there. Hold on, this one we gotta get on tape. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get real close because it's gonna be tiny. Okay, are you ready? Did it work? There you go. That light is on. Okay, unplug it so we can see it go off. Off, on, off, on. So this one had about 3.7 volts on it. I don't have any fancy connectors, so let's just see if we can make it work. You get one. No, I don't remember which side is positive and negative, so. Let's just... I'm going to make sure our wires don't touch. Okay, so that one... Hold on. Let's turn around the light. There you go. It works! Wow! That's really a lot brighter. Get it closer. Okay, yeah. It worked pretty well. I guess a little bit more voltage made it a little brighter, didn't it? Okay, go for it. There you go. Let's get the whole thing in there. So here we have... Pennies and nickels, turning an LED light on and off. What did we learn today? A couple of things. Batteries, you're gonna dip two different metals into liquid. liquid. That's right, batteries, you're dipping two different metals into liquid. And what does that make? Electricity. That's right, you get voltage and electricity. And we can use that electricity to power things. We can use it to power uh, remote controls, flashlights, LEDs, batteries, and even cars. So there's different sizes and types of batteries. And um, you know, we really need kids like you, Cole, and all of you kids watching, we need you guys to learn about science, technology, engineering, and math so that we can engineer really cool stuff in the, in the future. Thank you very much for watching us build batteries. I hope you have a safe and fun adventure at home uh, copying our activities.